Hey guys, in this video, I will demonstrate you how to create the chart bot with memory. So for some example, if you create a chart bot, something like a uh, customer support, you want uh, this uh, chart bot to talk with your uh, client. And once the client uh, tell the chart bot uh, his name, his age, and some um, something about himself, we want the chart bot to remember that. So next time, when the customer call call you back, the chatbot still know um, who is speaking, so they don't need to ask the same question again. So this is very uh, useful scenario. Uh, the OpenAI won't support that uh, directly. Uh, OpenAI not save that uh, uh, memory, not that uh, con context. But uh, uh, you could uh, uh, do that by yourself. Like you could save that and uh, load that from local. Uh, have a JSON file to uh, record what the, the customer talked about before, like what's the name of the customer. But we only record the uh, information about the customer. We don't need to record the information which is not uh, uh, related with that customer. So um, let's say I will show you uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, we are using the uh, foundation calling to do that. The foundation calling will decide which one need to save, we need to memorize, which one we don't need to memorize. For example, if you tell the chatbot, my name is Frank, so the chatbot need to remember this. But if you ask some questions, say, okay, what's the weather today? Something like this, I think this is not uh, uh, related with the, mm, the uh, customer. So we don't need to remember uh, memorize that. Uh, I will demonstrate how it's get working. So let's start. First thing you need to use the pie chart. Start a new project. Okay. A new project. Click create. Okay. Let's create the virtual environment. So now drag the file. I already created the file. I just uh, drag the file to here and uh, click OK. Uh, I need to install the OpenAI uh, library. Install OpenAI library. OK. No, I don't need this one. Stop AI. Yeah. So after that, we need to get the Open AI key. I store this in my uh, local uh, environment. Uh, and this is the file I try to save the uh, memory. I try to get the uh, have the uh, history to story to here. It's not the full history, just some uh, related information. Okay, so next one, uh, we first thing, if we already have that file, I just load that file. If we don't have the file, we just uh, create a new file. This is the OpenAI model. We don't need to talk about on that one. So this is how we uh, save the file to the uh, uh, mm, file system. Don't have too much we need to talk. Uh, this one is a description. We use the OpenAI foundation coding. So we need the description for the foundation, which that foundation uh, save we call save memory. Save memory, that foundation, here is a description. We say, okay, save important information about you, not the uh, some regular requesting, just important information about you. So open AI need to understand, okay, that information is important. So we will save that. Yeah. Here is the uh, uh, tool uh, segment for the uh, JSON um, object. So it's about, it's talk about the um, parameter of the function. Uh, okay, here is another one. Is the first one is a section. The next one is a memory. It will uh, structure. OpenAI will structure that and output to the front end to the client side. 
Okay, here we have the uh, function. Let's use a function called this definition. We use the description over here. Open AI will decide which one is uh, important, which one is not, which one is uh, yeah. So here is the, the more uh, description for the uh, system problem. So. Yeah. And basically, also is talk about uh, which one uh, you need to save, which one you don't need to save. It's uh, uh, contains some important information. Then you could uh, save that. So now let's say this is a system problem. The same deal. Just to talk about uh, okay, that's which one is you need to save. Uh, okay. So here is a way to the. Uh, communication with the open AI with the user uh, message so if you look at the hair we just uh, keep doing this one we just uh, keep communicate with the open AI API so we got the uh, initialize something over here we got the memory over here so you can't you already have some memory okay uh, if when, when it start, it's just a node the memory file to the uh, computer memory. Okay, now let's say if the OpenAI decide, okay, this one need to uh, save to the memory, so it's called this one. If not, we don't need to do that, just uh, print the message. We don't need to uh, uh, just to return this message and uh, print the message. If it's about uh, a function call, it needs to run the function call, save everything to the memory. So that is how it uh, work. Uh, let's start this one. Let's do a quick demo. So let's start it's over here. So let's say, okay, my name is Frank. My name is Frank. So you will see, okay, it's do the function call, say that. Nice to meet you. Okay. So let's go back to the file, say what it looks like. Let's open the file. Okay. You've got a new file over here. So it's memorized this. The user's name is Frank. So let's say, okay, let's say another thing. So what's the weather uh, today or what's the population? nation of US. This is a general question. It's not about myself. So it won't uh, record. It won't do the uh, memory. It won't memorize that. Let's uh, show you the JSON file. So you will say still like this. Let's uh, do another one. Say um, M. 42 years old. You will say it will do the function call. So we will use the open AI uh, capability to understand the language and uh, decide which one is about my profile. So it's save my profile. Okay. So let's say, mm, let's see, okay. The next time if I connect back, I will s ask them what you know about me. So I will ask what is my name. Okay, it will say your name is Frank. How old are me? So I will ask uh, uh, what is your gender? I don't think I know that. I don't have the gender. I'm a, I, I, what is my, I'm sorry. What is my, I don't have that information. So, because last time I did not leave this message to, uh, to the agent. So let's, uh, um, um, 14 years old man. Okay. 
I already have that. Uh, this one because I put something say do not uh, uh, duplicate uh, uh, the information, so it may it may only care about my uh, age, not care about the gender. So um, we it will not save that. Or I should say, I'm a four. I'm a male or something. Okay. So now let's say what is my. Okay, you're a man. So it's, it, it will get get that information. So that's this is really cool. For some scenario, if you if the customer supports, if some customer trying to call the uh, agent. And uh, the agent could know who is speaking and uh, some information they already have. So uh, the chatbot won't ask the customer provide this information again and again. But uh, there's something you need to care about the security. So before you talk with, the, you allow your uh, AI chatbot to talk with the ag your uh, customer, you need to do some uh, authentication. Like if you allow the user to log in, then you could uh, uh, get, get get this information. So you'd better save the memory by the uh, user ID. I mean, save that in the dictionary. So you don't need to uh, uh, get the different customer mix up. So it's also some security issue if you get it mixed up. So you need to use this uh, very carefully. Okay, I will put the source code in the GitHub so you guys could take a look. Say if you need this uh, feature to have your uh, uh, chatbot with uh, memory. Okay, thank you. Bye.